This trick is called Green Triangle Laceration or Brent Stoll. Here's what it looks like. Um, this trick is very similar to the hook, except instead of whipping two strings around your finger like in the hook, you're only going to whip one string. And now what that allows you to do is the extra string segment comes around and whips the back of the yo-yo to form the green triangle. As you're learning this trick, you want to make sure your string tension is good. This is going to help out a lot. So when you actually break down the whip itself, you can see that there's going to be a slack that forms behind the yo-yo. This is really important for the trick. So the next part is while that slack's spinning around, you want to take your, the string that's connected to your yo-yo hand and push forward hitting the slack. And what that's going to cause is the, string, the slack is going to fold over the string from your yo-yo hand, causing that green triangle to form. Um, one thing that's really important is as you're pushing into that string, you want to make sure the string from your yo-yo hand is directly over the gap of the yo-yo, and that'll make sure the triangle is formed correctly. Now to dismount, you just want to pop the yo-yo out of the front of the green triangle, and that'll land you right into a trapeze. And you can spring back to your hand. One of the cool things about green triangle laceration is you can actually do a double and a triple whip with it. Um, so really, you just keep the slack spinning around the yo-yo, and then move in with your hand to intercept that string. Whenever you really feel comfortable with it, you can just come right in and intercept it and do a green triangle. Um, yeah, it's just one of the things when you get better with the trick that you can just, you just learn. Um, this trick is really tough. It takes a long time to master, but once you get it, it's a really awesome trick. Um, that was the green triangle laceration or the Brent stool.